Hey Sandbricks, welcome. Is Al Haramain a good clone house? Today we're going to find out. Don't forget to subscribe and hit notifications if you love all things fragrance. Okay guys, so I have three Al Haramain fragrances, two full bottles that I purchased very recently and one sample bottle. I have heard a lot of stuff about the brand. I always uh, had tried the Baccarat dupe one, which is the Amber Oud Rouge, which is the sample that I have today, but I never tried any others and I was intrigued. So I blind bought two full bottles to try them and see what all the hype was about. So the three fragrances we're going to talk about today are Amber Oud Rouge, the Baccarat 540 dupe, Amber Oud Gold, supposedly Zerjov's Herba Pura dupe, and Rawa. Apparently, it's meant to be Carolina Herrera's Good Girl dupe. I've been playing around with these fragrances for the last couple of days to see how they really do compete with their predecessors. And I'm really excited to share that information with you guys. Okay, guys, so the first fragrance we're going to try is Amber Oud Rouge, the famous Baccarat 540 dupe. I have a little decan sample of this one, but I have owned the fragrance before. The reason I don't have a full bottle of this one is that it's just not available. I don't know if there's a stock shortage, but the only place I can see it available is on Amazon and eBay for over $300. So I'm like, mm -mm, no, I'm not doing that. I'll be patient and I'll wait for it to kind of come back in circulation, I think. While that's drying down, I will give you guys the scent notes. Top notes are saffron, mid notes are jasmine, base notes are amber green musk and white cedar. Amber Oud Rouge retails for 70 Australian dollars for a 60 ml EDP concentration bottle. Okay, so I'm not going to leave you hanging there. Is this a dupe for Baccarat? Absolutely it is. I think it's one of the best dupes I've ever come across in my whole life. I do have a couple more um, that are really good as well, but this one is awesome. Amber Oud Rouge for me really takes me to the Baccarat Rouge 540 X Straight formula as opposed to the OG. In saying that, I'm talking about the old Baccarat and not the reformulated Baccarat. Obviously, it's pretty apparent with the scent note listings that they're almost identical, so they were going to be very, very close. If you love Baccarat Rouge and don't want to risk buying a reformulated dud, at over $300, this one is definitely worth you checking out without a doubt. To be completely honest with you guys, I will never go back to buying Baccarat Rouge 540 in its current formulation. I am more than happy to purchase this when I can and be absolutely satisfied. This is amazing, I'm in love. Okay, so the second Al Haramain fragrance is Amber Oud Gold Edition. This is the stunning box here. This is meant to be the Herba Pura dupe from Zerjov. I think my fascination with Herba Pura is the fact that previously I'd never smelt it before and I bought two dupes sort of accidentally and fell in love with them. So I made it my mission to go to a store and sample Herba Pura. So I had some more insight as how these guys were actually close or not close. But firstly, I just want to talk about the packaging here. This is stunning, guys. Look, it's like a gold, beautiful, it's heavy. It's not cardboard or anything. And then it opens up to that. How absolutely beautiful is that? I was blown away when I got this delivered and I opened it. I couldn't believe how this was presented. This is presented much better and in much more sturdy, luxurious packaging than some five and $600 fragrances I own. So I was wrapped with the packaging to start with. Amber Oud Gold Edition retails for $79.95 for a 60 ml EDP concentration bottle. It has top notes of bergamot and green notes, mid notes of melon, sweet notes, pineapple and amber, and base notes of musk, vanilla, and woody notes. Okay, so I have used this, and I don't know if you guys can see, this was delivered about nine days ago. Can you guys see the dint in that bottle? I was hooked. I cannot believe the reaction I had to this fragrance. 
it is incredible. I had a similar reaction to the Orientica Royal Amber, which is another dupe for Herba Pura, but this was insanely good. If you want a beast performing fragrance, look no further. This is an absolute superstar. Talk about a beast. I got 12 plus hours and I still smelt it in my hair, on my pillow, on my clothes and everything I had worn that day. It is stunning and it lasts like a beast for sure. Amber Oud Gold is definitely unisex all the way. This smells incredible on guys and girls. It is incredibly sexy. And to be honest with you, looking at the scent profile, it would not normally be something I would gravitate towards. So be careful with that because sometimes I've kind of ruled out fragrances I've never smelt before based off their scent profiles. But this has actually been a new discovery that I've fallen madly in love with that had I not accidentally stumbled upon it, I would never have known. It's this gorgeous, sweet, creamy melon scent that is unforgettable. It smells just like its packaging, incredibly high quality. It definitely has niche intensity without a doubt. There's no real pungent oud either in the fragrance, which I actually like. I'm not a big, strong, dirty oud lover. I would prefer it in the, you know, the back row, just kind of complementing the other notes, which this one does beautifully. This one really does just smell like golden, delicious candied fruits with this beautiful, musky, vanilla-like dry down. It's stunning. The final Al Haramein fragrance we're going to talk about is Rawa. This one is meant to be the Carolina Herrera Good Girl Dupe. Rawa retails for 70 Australian dollars for a 100ml EDP concentration bottle. It has top notes of almond and coffee, mid notes of jasmine, tuberose and orris, and base notes of cacao pod, vanilla, tonka bean and sandalwood. Okay guys, so this is the bottle. It came in just a pretty atypical cardboard box. The bottle is quite beautiful. It's incredibly weighted. It's definitely glass. I love the little addition of the ribbon here. It definitely feels and looks luxurious. So Rora is definitely a good girl dupe in my humble opinion. I think there are some slight differences though. Good Girl has this fresh kind of kick along with those florals and cacaos and sensuous notes, whereas there is no freshness in this fragrance at all. This one heads straight to the dry down from initial spritz. It goes right down to that cacao and vanilla and all those yummy, yummy bits. For me, honestly, this one is a sexier version of Good Girl and it lasts and projects like a superstar again. I think the reason it doesn't have that freshness like Good Girl is that there's no bergamot and note listings like that. So as I said, the freshness is not there, but everything else is definitely there. This one also reminded me a little, not a lot, of YSL's Black Opium. But it definitely has this delicious, dark, moody coffee vibe with a tonka sweet scent. And then the addition of the white florals are stunning. Okay, scent freaks, so thank you so much for watching, guys. I appreciate you all, I really do. To summarize for today, what I would say is this. Al Haramein, in my opinion and my experience, has been phenomenal. There are so many supposed dupe and clone houses out there that usually, you know, don't deliver all the way. I found that these fragrances didn't at all slack off on quality for quantity and price. They delivered on longevity and projection, on the promise of the scent themselves smelling like their predecessors, and they're at an unbelievably good price point for what they deliver. I am going to continue to explore Al Haramein further. I definitely want to delve into the house more and smell all of their fragrances. I'm so excited. There are very few dupe houses out there that get me really, really excited because I find sometimes they're a bit of a letdown. This was not one of those occasions. If you guys have your own experiences or thoughts regarding Al Haramein or any experiences you think I should try or you'd like me to review for you, please shoot it in the comments below and I will definitely get back to you. Thank you so much, Zen Freaks. I love and appreciate you all and I hope to see you all back here next time. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.